Well, Chelsea have splashed the cash this summer, spending more than any other Premier League club, and they needed it, Farah, especially given their erratic start of the season. As a Chelsea fan, I know that you won't like me saying that. They did need to spend, but I'm not sure that the spending that Chelsea have done have made them any stronger from the players that they've lost in the summer. Um, or maybe they're just taking time to fit. I'm, I'm pleased that Chelsea signed a Bamiang, you know, it, you know, on deadline day because they need a striker. I think Raheem Sterling's been a fantastic si- uh, sign-in for Chelsea, but he can't produce without having a number nine around him. So I'm hoping a Bamiang is a good signing, can score goals. Um, he's took the number nine shirt, which we know as Chelsea fans is a cursed number. So I'm, I'm hoping it's not cursed for a Bamiang, and he can come in and hit the ground running. He's worked with Tuchel before, and you know, you've heard him speak about him. Yeah. And, he can manage him as a player. But at least if it is cursed, it's not cursed for long because he's 33 <laughs> already, isn't he? <laughs> uh, look, I think it boils down to circumstances at Chelsea. Uh, they obviously lost Rudiger and uh, Christensen at the end of last season and that was sort of out of their control almost. So they needed to replace them. Obviously, the worst. I think it could be the worst bit of business in, in football history, buying a striker for £98 million and then oh. letting him leave on loan the year after. <laughs> so I think they just have to swallow that one. But I like, I like the business they've done with Raheem Sterling. I, I think he... He's top, top quality, he's proven. I feel as though he went a little bit stale at City and this is a chance for him to, to reignite himself. Yeah, so let's talk about Raheem. Are you seeing a different Raheem Sterling? No, I think this is what Raheem brings. I think Raheem Sterling will be really good for Chelsea. I think in terms of mentality and what he's worked with under Pep and around fantastic players, I think Chelsea actually need that. I think him coming in could change some of the younger players' mindsets at Chelsea. I think he's a great leader. He's obviously started really, really well. I know he's only scored three. He could have had a few more in the earlier games, but he's hit the ground running. I think Chelsea fans have really taken to him. And he's somebody who's hard working. He just gets you on board straight away as a fan. I think just his work rate, as well as his ability to play and score, I think just gets a fan on board straight away. Yeah, he looks happy as well, doesn't he? Which is ever so important. In terms of the Hammers, I watched them in midweek. Hard fought draw, you have to say. They need to find goals, don't they? Yeah, they do. They were heavily reliant on Antonio last year and Bowen. I think Bowen had almost the season of his life. It, it, the question is, can he find uh, mm. hit those heights again? It's going to be difficult. But they're brought back up in Samaka. Unfortunately, he's out of the squad. And then the new boy, Pakhtar, he, he's in. So, listen, these are unknown quantities to us. We'll have to see how they fit into this West Ham system. But you're right, they definitely need goals. Yep, OK, for the moment, thank you. Let's talk EFL with Kelly Summers. It's been a week of goals very late on and last night West Brom nabbed a very late one. Good afternoon Kelly. Good afternoon Jason. They did but very quickly I wanted to pick up on something Glenn said then. You said about Pierre and Mkhabamian being 33 and not being cursed for very long. <laughs> How long did you go on for till 37? Yeah, they tried to replace me so many times. Okay back to the EFL now. I was just saying he's got a few years in him yet and you should know about that. Um, anyway yes West Brom left it very late against Burnley last night. This man Brandon Thomas at Sante on his debut getting his first goal for his new club to rescue a point. It was almost an incredibly frustrating evening for West Brom once again. Their former striker, Jay Rodriguez, thought he'd made a winning return to the Hawthorns, scoring a penalty. But look at that. West Bromwich Albion had 23 attempts to burn these 11. Eight of those on target. Eventually, one of those counted. Incidentally, Vincent Company's Burnley have had a brilliant start. 